Welcome to the Between Two Wheels podcast, where we talk about all things on and between two wheels. I'm your host, Johnny Roblox, and you all know my co-host, Justin, you suck at the dirt bikes, Bird, and Uncle, not Team Bradley, thank God, Ken. This episode is being brought to you by Get Lowered Cycles, your one-stop shop for all things Harley and Harley related, and Nutsack, the last EDC bag you'll ever want or need. On today's episode, we are breaking international borders and the international dateline and having a chat with skid pig moto from australia before jumping into our conversation we want to say thank you to the fans for listening and helping us blow through our latest milestone of fifty thousand downloads womp, womp, womp. It, it means a lot to us that you are enjoying the show and continue to come back week over week if you haven't already please head over to youtube and become a subscriber of the between two wheels channel when we hit 1,000 subs, we will be doing a giveaway as a way of saying thank you to all of you. I just have to ask, where does the not Team Bradley thank God come from? Am I missing something or forgetting something? Well, the last episode, Team Bradley was in. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Sorry, that was like nine weeks ago in my head. <laughs> I mean, that was like six days ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I already so, know what the why I suck at dirt bikes. That's, that's just a given. Yeah. No, it... Of all of us, was it you? Don't what, was it from my comment section? Yes, that was great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Like, oh, I'm following a first time writer. Yeah, you're definitely seeing my writing potential. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome to the show, James. Thanks, boys. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> so, just for transparency, we've already started half of this interview, but then we found out we weren't recording Skid Pigs. Can we actual... not say we? Because I mean, you were the sure. only person in control. Okay, I'll take the hit. All right, yeah, thank I mean, you. Yeah, Roblox fucked up. Yeah, and that's why we weren't recording. I just I want to clear my name from that schmear. So are we recording now? Yeah. No. Are, are you checking? What the fuck? Oh my god. What What are those? Is his volume just low? Can we do a fucking sound check here? <laughs> well, no, it stopped recording. Oh, it didn't. It's recording right there. Oh. You're zoomed in like fucking oh, ninety times. That's why. <laughs> okay. Well. Yeah, his his levels are low, but you can fix that in post. Yeah. Goddamn technology. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Goddamn internets. And you, you, you were just off air talking shit about old people that can't use computers. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right, go ahead. Yeah, and, okay, uh, yeah. Go ahead and chat, James. Let's, <laughs> let's do a fucking comms check. I can edit this part out. All right. What are, what are we chatting about? Uncle Ken's jocks again, or yeah? Oh yeah, I mean, they're uh, they're boxer briefs. Yep. Yeah. It's the only way to go, man. That's the only way to go if you've got any sort of package going on. Yeah, I guess some really big. Yeah, I got some really big balls. I've got giant balls, <laughs> tiny pecker, giant balls. Yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> tiny little dick, big old balls. It looks it looks like uh, you know those those little Wisconsin cheese rolls. Oh, yeah. The happy cow, I think we're called. Yeah, laughing cow. Laughing, laughing cow. cow. Yeah. yeah, it looks like that We've next to that like. Idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right on. It looks like that next yeah. to like two giant like tennis balls. Yeah. Okay, maybe not well, quite. Big tennis potatoes. Balls. Big potatoes make the steak look smaller, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, the, the the deck joke would work really well in his accent. He'd be like, "Oh, I've got such a gigantic deck. If I trim the bush around it, it makes my deck look bigger." <laughs> God, that was bad. Hearing wow. it, hearing wow. it in my own headphones, <laughs> I got to really hear how bad it was. That's All right, terrible. <laughs> thank you. you thank you. Do that again. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we we completely went off the rails on this one, but uh, that's cool. Um, <laughs> that's kind of the, the premise. Yeah, yeah. Only, people yeah. only listen to like the first five ten minutes of our episode, anyway. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we should just play pay, Beethoven Symphony for like the last forty five minutes. See who actually listens. Yeah. <laughs> and come, come on, right at the end, and be like hashtag all the way through. <laughs> Thank you for listening. To <laughs> just have an actual outro for it. Oh, uh, okay. So James, where are you from? I'm from Townsville, which is in North Queensland, Australia. So. Up the top, the pointy bit. <laughs> <laughs> is that the biggest, uh, do you call them states? Yeah, oh, they're, I think they're all pretty similar in size. Yeah, they're they're all like a quarter of the globe in size, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're fucking, they're fucking stupid yeah. big. 
I always have people from Australia talk shit on my videos because I talk about like how big Texas is and like, well, you should. Okay, I'm not going to do it. Well, you should, you know, come down and see Australia. And I'm like, yeah, it doesn't count when your whole continent only has fucking seven states. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I mean, we can get ugly and be like, well, at least we weren't founded on prisoners, you know. And, hey, <laughs> but, but, I mean, you know, Australia. <laughs> Granted, you were kind of banished to a kind of a cool area. <laughs> the penal colony of the world. Yeah. <laughs> Tomatoes, genocide, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> God. I think we did all right out of that deal. Actually, it's not too bad. No either. kidding, I, right? I, honestly, I, th- I think you did. I mean. Yeah. I've been to England. It sucks. Yeah. Yeah, England yeah. does suck. I've been to England and I've been to Australia. I'd rather go back to Australia. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. 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 The women are so much cooler down there, too. Oh, Aust- yeah. Australians <laughs> love military men, so, I mean, it was kind of a good deal. If there was one thing to make me do stolen valor. <laughs> 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 but, but you wouldn't be stealing valor in Australia. I'd say foreign soil. It doesn't yeah. count. Yeah. Okay. Different zip codes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, what got you into riding motorcycles? Uh, just being a bush kid, just grew up on them um, from push bikes into motorbikes. Uh, my first one had training wheels on it, a little 50cc dirt bike, and yeah, just went onwards and upwards from there. So, okay. so do you suck at the dirt bikes too? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, okay. really good at falling off. <laughs> so is Roblox. Yeah, yeah. He, he was awesome at it. Yeah, I, I took a tumble. I don't know if you saw Biking Birds' video, latest video, right? Yeah, it came out well, yesterday. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, you know, I have fallen on the street and I've now fallen in the dirt. Fuck it. I would much rather fall in the dirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I fell sure. off, and I, I hit hard, but I hit soft sand. Yeah. So. Oh, well, that's easy. That's not. Yeah. That yeah. was. That was you almost welcome it. You're like, ah, oh, thank you. Yeah. It's like well, a little yeah. break. You're also not driving, you know, 80 miles an hour down a highway with cars. Yeah, he wasn't driving eight miles an hour. Pew, 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 pew. What was your first uh, street legal bike? Uh, 1987 Harley Softail Custom. Nice, nice. So that came out the year Roblox graduated. <laughs> Fuck you! I was four. <laughs> <laughs> pew, 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 pew. No, no. His wife had just graduated high school. No, his wife just graduated college. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she was ten. Okay, I was gonna say she was ten. <laughs> uh, okay, so what is your current bike? Uh, the current one is a 2016 Dyna Wide Glide. Okay, and you have a Stage 5. Is that an international That's stage in kilometers, five? though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you got to <laughs> carry the 7 yeah. when you... Yeah, yeah. Well, our values aren't the same as yours, so it's probably like a .36 or something like that <laughs> in, in the U.S., but no, nah, stage five is the old catalog. Now in the current one, they only call it a stage four, which makes it sound a lot gayer than it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, they just combine stage one and stage two together like they do here in the yeah. States. Yeah. Gotcha. That's so, probably what it was. Yeah. So, so what kind of uh, numbers are you putting out on that? Um, well, I'm only running short shot pipe, so it's not real good for power, oh, but it yeah. makes 109 horsepower and 123 foot pound at the wheel. And I bet it's loud as fuck, too, <laughs> with oh, those short shots. Oh, it's, yeah, it's yeah. definitely loud. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, even watching his videos, it's yeah. loud. Well, I watched the yeah. video of the Dino Day, and it's oh, sealed, yeah. and you, it's still loud oh, as yeah. fuck. Oh, <laughs> yeah, loud as fuck. Oh, Damn. Yeah, yeah it, it scares um, old ladies and small children. <laughs> I bet. Just like Ken. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of what I was going for. So, yeah. Yeah. So, speaking of Ken, you kind of have a uh, a man crush on Ken, don't you? Who doesn't, though? Well, oh, yeah, in a, in a non-gay way. Yeah, know, yeah. No homo. But I mean, hey, it's, yeah, two, yeah. it's 2019, yeah. man. You can you can be gay all you want. <laughs> <laughs> I can. I'll just prefer not to. Isn't no, okay. It's your Ken, preference. Uncle Ken's... He's like my hero, so I wanna I wanna be him when I get older. Is is doing the gay legal over there? Is what sorry? Is doing the gay like being being gay? Is that legal in uh, Australia? I don't know. Yeah, I think it is. I think yeah, I think pretty yeah, progressive. pretty progressive. I'm pretty yeah. That's what I was yeah. thinking. I mean, they don't like guns, it's still, um, but they like gays. It's yeah, frowned, it's still frowned upon, but um, so is masturbating on an airplane. So amen. You know, yeah. yeah, it's only legal if you get caught. Yep. Yeah, that's right. It's still not the Mile High Club unless you're counting Pamela as your as your date. <laughs> that's the only way that 
any of us in this room are joining the Mile High Club. Let's, Wait a minute. Uh, Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, okay. Sorry, bro. What? Hold sorry, on. dude. Oh no, no, no! Military planes don't count. It's still a fucking. No, plane. fuck that. I, I, was a, I was on a. I was on a seven seven seven. It's a seven forty seven. Ah, all right, 200. never mind. I mean, hey, I can't afford those fucking planes. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't afford this plane. No, the military paid for it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Tax dollars. Military I mean, planes don't count. Yeah, they do. Well, no, I, this was a civilian oh, airplane. Blind, blind. Right. <laughs> blind, blind. So are you in the club? You're in the club. Oh, I'm definitely in the yeah, club. Yeah, there's two of two of the three of us are in the club. But you know, technically, to join the Mountain High Club, just go to Denver and have sex in Denver. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. that's the only way I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. There we go again. <laughs> this is this is almost as bad as us talking to Shade Tree about him sp- forking his tongue. But that was amazing. Yeah, fuck, he is mad. <laughs> <laughs> um, so without getting into too much specific detail what is your day job um i'm a wholesaler so i basically buy and sell stuff so cars bikes boats whatever i can make money out of mm-hmm. and i i own a car carrying business as well so the the truck moves all the cars and yeah so i've sort of got two things on the go at the moment sweet it, is it hard to buy them and not sell them no, it's it's oh, it's easy to make mistakes. So you can buy as many as you want, but whether you'll make money out of them all, that's the that's the difference. Mm-hmm. No, my question was more uh, uh, like because I'm I'm a car guy. So like if I you know went and bought a nice car, I'd have a hard time selling it, even if it was going to make me money. Oh no no no, no cars are just dollar it's, signs to me now. Gotcha. I, okay. I was a car guy. But um, when it's your job, it takes the fun out of it. Oh, I can imagine. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you've seen that show on Netflix, The Rust Valley Restorers. That guy's got a yeah. serious fucking problem. He's got 400 classic cars, but they're all just like rusted as shit, and oh, he yeah. won't sell any of them. Like he's yeah. a serious hoarder. He's, he's got a hoarder, a problem. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, is, so is that how you found your uh, current Harley? Yeah, yep. It was traded in at a Toyota dealer out in Emerald, which is central Queensland. A mate of mine runs the the car yard out there and a guy was trading it in and he rang me to see what it was worth and i'm like i'm fucking keeping it. it's worth <laughs> it's not worth anything you should buy it no. 27 dollars yeah. yeah 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 so did, nah, so did, did it, it did it come it did it come with stage four did you do that no no i did that oh, yeah okay. it had it just had the short shot pipes on it that's it when i first got it okay yeah it was stock as a rock so stock you are the biggest Harley YouTuber in Australia. Where did really? you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. According to the internet. Yeah, according to the internet. And you can't uh, you can't lie on the internet. No. Um, where did you come up with the the name Skid Pig? Um, I like doing burnouts, and in Australia we call them skids. Like now, do some skids, mm-hmm. and I like pigs. I like hunting pigs, and I like drinking beer with pigs um our like, neighbor across the road has got two um wild pigs one of them's a big boar he'd be about 250 kilos so he's oh, a big fella so damn. i have a couple of beers with him most weeks and yeah just sort of combine the two so pig. so wait you have friend you, you have I'm beers so with fucking lost friend, right now. <laughs> or you have beers with no, the pig with, with the pig okay yeah is it a good conversation yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He never chats back. He just uh, listens. See, that's, that's the a, best kind. Need, yeah. yeah. Yep. So, okay. So that's that's a different take on going hogging. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, are we yep. talking about the animal? Or <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go drink beers with the pig. Yeah, yeah. Right. He's a big boy. He's massive. <laughs> yeah, 250 he's kilos. You're damn right. Set of hooks on him too. Oh, Got oh, some tusks. They're not too big, but yeah, he's I'm friendly. Gonna convert as. that. <laughs> wow. Wow, <laughs> that's, that's that's cool. There's a whole lot going on there to unpack. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, we talked about our milestone. You just hit a pretty big milestone yourself. Uh, so congrats on surpassing cool. the ten thousand subscriber mark. Um, yeah, thank you. How has YouTube changed your life? Oh, it it has. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> just trying to find the time to to like come up with the ideas and everything because I've I've got myself doing one video a week mm-hmm. um, and I'm I'm like religious on that now so every Saturday morning at 11 o'clock so in an hour's time my next video comes out 
And um, that's the hard part to try and come up with shit every week. But um, I've been doing it for oh, nearly a year and a half now, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I don't know. It's going pretty good. I enjoy it. It was it was tough uh, because when I started the channel, it was actually Blockhead and Justin were my inspiration to start it because um, the Diner Build series, I had a diner I was looking for shit to do to it and I found his channel. I'm like, fuck, I'm going to have a crack at this. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's sort of how it started. But then I'm like, well, I don't just ride Harleys. I go shooting, fishing, crabbing, you know, all this fall driving. So I thought, oh, I'm just going to chuck it all on there and see what happens. And I don't know, it's working so far. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you throw enough turds at the wall, something's going to stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've got plenty of turds in me, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. uh, so let's take a quick break, hear from Nutsack, and when we come back, we'll continue our chat with Skid Pig. Nutsack is the only EDC bag the crew carries, and for good reason. They're crazy and awesome. They get their name because folks said they had to be nuts to manufacture a man bag in America with American waxed canvas, American leather, and American labor. We want you to join us in the two-week challenge. Buy a bag from them, use it for two weeks, and if it doesn't completely change the way you carry your everyday gear, they will give you a full refund. We absolutely love ours from carrying a Around extra mags for our concealed carry to earbuds sunglasses vape stuff and business cards it is great having less shit in our pockets and it was because of the nutsack satchels that we were able to be less weighed down if you buy using our link nutsack will give you five dollars off to enjoy a beer head over to nutsack.com slash b2w that's n-u-t-s-a-c dot com slash be the number two w to get yours today all right and we are back um so james what are you into when you are not filming and writing so you talked a little bit about some of the stuff you like to do can you go a little bit more detail about that yeah i'm a mad keen fisherman i love it um i'm more chasing mud crabs than fishing um, only because I suck at fishing, but um, <laughs> I just got a new boat, so a bigger boat. So we're I've bought spear guns now, so oh, I haven't Jesus. done a video on it yet. That'd be dope, but, um, dude. <laughs> yeah, Wait. yeah. But the drama is where I live, so up the the tip of Australia. That's where all the crocodiles are. So oh hell no, you nope. Can't, <laughs> I'm out. You can't really <laughs> go anywhere too safe, you know, like. Even if I shoot over to the islands, there's still crocs over there. So you sort of run a bit of a risk, but you got to do it for the views, right? Damn. Damn. <laughs> I'm such a fucking dumbass. So, in my head, I'm like, I didn't know they had crocodiles in Australia. Not, I mean, <laughs> the most fucking I mean, famous movies and people that come out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Like Sorry. Crocodile yeah. Dundee. Yeah, I'm a stupid fuck. Sorry. <laughs> um, Steve Irwin. Yeah. 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 R.I.P. Yeah. So his kids are doing awesome, though. They yeah. are great. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what I don't even know the the boy's name, but he's on the Tonight Show. Yeah, well, like every year or so. Well, well the daughter, like every couple months. The daughter, oh, really? Bimby or Bambi or Bimby Bonnie. and Bob. Bimby, Bimby and Robert. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so I saw on one of your videos a shark just chilling right next to you. Fuck that. Uh, can you kind of give a little rundown on that? Uh that we were we were chasing like other fish we don't go chasing sharks on purpose but yeah, <laughs> good plan just licking lures around and i hooked it in the dorsal fin and it just fucking took off and uh, it took us <laughs> forever <laughs> to round this thing up but we chased it because it it had a good lure on it so i wanted it back <laughs> oh, well, I, no 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 i get it i get it lures are damn expensive you can't just let those yeah, things get away Damn straight. Yeah, that's 25 bucks. I want that. So, yeah, we, we didn't end up getting it, and it actually snapped my, my fishing rod in half. Oh, I'm damn. About that. that was a double loss it's there. $600 rod, too, custom made. What? Like, I'm like, fucking cunt of a thing. Look. Jesus. Yeah. So You said $600? I love their curse. So $600, that's what, about three fifty four hundred U.S. dollars No, the we're nearly dollar for dollar uh, with them. I think it's sixty five cents in the dollar at the mo- so yeah, somewhere around there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, before you go into that, I just want want to you know you know shove my 
my uh, imaginary penis in this conversation. I just had my first interaction with an Australian company to try to, you know, get parts for the dirt bike. Best fucking experience I've ever had. So shout out to yeah. Steg Pegs. They uh, make, uh, they're like rubber discs to help grip the bike with your leg. It's like an enduro must have. And they're like the only people that make them. Yeah. And man, that they're guy right. was awesome. So shout out. Cool. Cool. So you shoot guns in some of your videos. What are your thoughts yep. on American gun laws as compared to Australian gun laws? Demonetized. Amazing compared to ours. Our laws are just dead set bullshit. Um, we can't have anything really cool. Like the, the biggest caliber we can have, oh, I think you can still get 338s, but um, they're trying to outlaw them now as well. So 300 Win Mag is the biggest sort of rifle caliber we can have, which I've got two of them. I mean, that, that's a good hunting and rifle for so just about everything. Still pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That's my, my pig rifle. When we go up Cape York, like up the very tip, that's where we go hunting pigs. And it's got a 8 by 32 by 56 Night 4 scope on it. Nice. So <laughs> it's fucking dope. It nice. shoots holes in dollar coins at 100 meters. Like, that's how we sight it in. So Damn. you can shoot yep. the dick off the fly. So. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so back to the bike stuff. Let's. <laughs> oh, we're not going to dive deeper into that. No, no, no. It, it all gets in. It all kind of rolls together. Okay. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on the outlaw motorcycle club ban in Australia? That was about thirty years ago. That was about eighty four uh, with the Milpera massacre. Though, just to say, all I've the, never heard of that. Oh well, yeah, the bikey wars. Yeah. yeah. So they're outlawed, but there's still roughly 44 outlaw clubs still active in Australia. So what are your thoughts about that? Uh, they're like a couple of years ago, we had a complete ban. No 1% clubs were allowed to um, fly colors. They can't even associate with each other. So if there's three of them, just standing at a bar, having a drink, boom, locked up, arrested, you're in jail. So we have anti-association laws over here now, um, which is trying to shut the clubs down, but they're they're still going. Like, is it yeah, kind of definition it, of outlaw? It <laughs> yeah, it I think I think I think that started back in 2016, is what I read. Yeah, yeah, that'd be about right. <laughs> so, what was the Milpera massacre? Anyone can answer this. I'm just. I didn't that was do my a research. Big one. Who was that? Um, that was the uh, Banditos and the Comancheros. Comancheros. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. They they made a TV in Australia. Series about it. It's a pretty good show. Yeah. There's a there's a, a TV documentary series called The Bikey Wars. I think you can find yeah, it on yeah. YouTube. Huh. Uh, and it's actually pretty good. Uh, but yeah, that was back. That was 30 years ago on September 2nd. Uh, that this yeah. happened. A bunch of people killed, shot. It was like their Waco. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Kinda. It was at a car show or something like that. They had a big shootout, and yeah. Hmm. But there's there's been other shootouts and stuff that that happened, but not not that much. In Townsville, where I live, there's only two one percent clubs in this town, so it's pretty peaceful. Hmm, that's good. Um, have you had any encounters with one percent clubs worth noting because of your YouTube fame? Um more to do with the name of my trucking business mm -hmm. uh but which oh it's pretty funny stories but um <laughs> no i used to drink at the clubhouses with them like every week so i i know a lot of them so yeah i'd i'd call more than a handful of them mates so yeah i've never had any bad experiences with them all all good i like riding with them good yeah good i mean that seems kind of Kind of like That's what kind we of universal, have here. Yeah. I mean, don't fuck with them; they don't fuck with you. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be on the wrong side of them, but yeah. Correct. Yeah. No. 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 Mm. Not at all. Um, do cops give bikers a hard time, or just people who wear club style vests? Yeah, I think it's probably more the the wannabe club type bikers that that cop a, you know more shit than others. Um, I get pulled over every time I ride through Ingham, but I don't have 
one patch on my vest, not one. I I don't wear any patches at all. So um, it's more that they've just got my number plate flagged. <laughs> so they well, they can they can probably hear you from like eighty kilometers out. So <laughs> see how yeah, you generalize that. Yeah. Fucking skid pig coming through again. <laughs> just yeah. Check him. Well, we we want to be on YouTube. Let's pull them over. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're, they're, uh, I they're, thought I was going to get in a bit of shit when I shot the laptop computer, but I oh went yeah. right in the scrub to do that, so out of sight, out of mind. I don't think any police watch that sort of shit anyway, so oh, I'm, I'm sure they do. Oh, I'm, I'm sure they do. <laughs> I, I, I did like your your take on how to fix any computer permanently. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that was yeah. perfect. It to works. Shoot it. Yep. I, I work in technology, so for me, that was just that was a very satisfying a great version of the office space oh, printer printer oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> it felt so good to kick it off that train bridge into the water that was, that was the best part I, I, I like that that you went back and like yes we did go get the computer out of the water yeah yeah and what i what i didn't show is i went ass up off the log i was walking in and ended up in the creek so. <laughs> slime and shit all over me and me nice suit and everything nice. oh yeah so you were going for like a mafia boss style yeah <laughs> i yeah. love the brass knuckles oh, was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. oh wait brass knuckles i missed that part yeah did you yeah that's when i punched the screen yeah i had brass knuckles on when i punched it <laughs> wait so you can have brass knuckles there hell no <laughs> <laughs> well see you need to move Definitely to texas not. because as of september 1st you can now have brass knuckles here in texas again yep Oh really, dude? Yeah. Texas is pulling out all the stops, so you can yeah. walk down the street with like a samurai sword, yep. Bowie knife, fucking yep. anything. Brass knuckles, batons, yeah, nightsticks. Wow. Yeah. It's getting. We can't do that. No. <laughs> we can't even carry a pocket knife. Nothing. Jesus. Really? Yeah. No. No concealed carry. No open carry. None of that. Like all of my handguns, the only time I'm allowed to take them out of the safe. Is if I'm cleaning them or I'm going to a competition shoot. That's so it. to that point, the cops can randomly come to your home and check out your gun safe, correct? Yep. Yep. Wow. So how often has that happened? It's only ever happened once to me and the coppers were really good. They just said, show me what you got. And I just showed them, pulled them out of the safe and yeah, they just <laughs> checked it off the list and said yeah sweet as see you later wow that's mm. kind of crazy yeah but they ring you first so like <laughs> if you did have something to hide you got plenty of time to hide it so oh, oh Jesus. Yeah, well fair enough fair <laughs> enough all right it's like those companies yeah. like you're gonna have a drug test in four months yes <laughs> yeah so be a good boy yeah <laughs> yeah um so we kind of hit on this a little bit but how has starting a youtube channel impacted your life so how has it changed you or how has it affected your family, things like that? Um, well, we've just had our second kid, so my youngest is three months old. So, But she's a really good baby, so the sleep deprivation thing hasn't really affected me, but I just get up early. I, like I'll get up at three or four o'clock in the morning and edit my videos while everyone else is asleep. And yeah, like when I'm doing moto vlogs, like I'm just riding, you know, buying cars, riding around and I'm working. So I'll do that in between, but you know, it doesn't really take up that much time. Moto vlogs are so easy to edit too, like yep. piece of piss. But the, the fishing ones, and if you have more than one camera and all that sort of shit takes a long time, but I don't get to go fishing as much as I want to, but yeah, I, I, I always do the shit. Like even before I had the channel, when we used to go up the Cape, I was always doing videos with my phone and uh, fucking annoying everyone, you know, <laughs> in their face. So yep. yeah, when I figured out this YouTube shit, I'm like, oh, I'm destined for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you have two kids, correct? Yeah, two girls. Yep. Oh, oh you poor bastard. Oof. Yeah, I know. Even the dogs are girl. I'm completely outnumbered. So that's Damn. why you go drinking with the neighbor's pig. Yeah. <laughs> Only other dick around here. Damn, all right. By the way, guys, for our American listeners, I converted that kilo into pounds. That's a 550-pound pig. Yeah. yeah. 
fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that $600 uh, fishing rod is $450 American dollars. That's still too much for a fucking fishing rod. <laughs> oh, it's custom built. Uh, I love that thing. It oh, had a you better. The bottom of it and everything. Like, it was fucking cool. I better fucking whack you off every time you catch something. I mean, it feels pretty good yeah. when you really set that yeah. hook. Yeah, set that <laughs> you yank hook. Yank it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, what are some of the best places to ride there in Australia? Oh, definitely up further up north uh, around Cairns and the Atherton Tablelands um, has some really wicked spots um, like right up the mountains like you call twisties. They are out of control. If, if you type into Google Gillies Range, like G-I-L-L-I-E-S, range Atherton and look at it on a map, you'll just go holy fuck so that's probably like the the best road i've ever ridden mm -hmm. and then as you get further up north port douglas it's right along the coast like water the whole way it's just fucking beautiful there's some really nice um coast roads up here sweet sydney is like my number yeah, I mean, one international awesome. destination sydney sorry mate I said Australia is my number one international destination just for everything. Just riding, yeah. vacation, everything. I don't like yeah. go, I don't want to go to places where I can't speak the language. <laughs> so that kind of narrows down my oh, wow. you know, my target area. Here's a little here's a little section of that road. Oh nice. It looks that's, like that's uh, zoomed out. Yeah. It's twisted sisters esque for sure. Yeah. That's it's more like the dragon. Trail. Tail yeah. the dragon, yeah. That's cool. So on Instagram, there's the what they call the Iron Sisters. They're Australian motorcycle personalities, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, do you see a lot of women riders there in Australia? No, no, not many at all, actually. Hmm. There's uh, that's probably why they're so popular. Well, that and uh, other reasons. Shit, I only know one, which would be Jade Holland. Uh, I don't know if you saw the country that video. singer. Yeah, she's a, a Harley ambassador, so she just, whenever she's in town, goes into Sun City, jumps on a bike and goes for a ride. But, yeah, we she's the only chick I've ever ridden with. There you go. Wow. Huh. Ever. That, that's weird. I've only ridden with Tracy and Brad. Yeah. Yeah, most of that was Brad. There you go, Brad. I had to get one in. <laughs> <laughs> poor Team Bradley. No, no, no not, not poor. Team Bradley. No, no, no. <laughs> um, so, kind of wrapping up our interviews, uh, we like to really piss off Shade Tree Surgeon as much as possible <laughs> by asking our infamous three questions. So, if money was no option or no concern, what motorcycle would you go out and buy? I would buy a CVO Road Glide Mako Shark. Is that I fucking love that bike? Like the one you just test rode? No, that I wasn't that, a Mako. I guess it that wasn't was a Mako. The orange and black colored one. You know mm. the blue into black fade. Yeah, that yeah. Job? That one. I fucking want one of them. <laughs> yeah, CVO Road Glide would be dope. Now you test rode the 124 sun city special uh road glide 128 yeah. uh yep. i i think i'd rather have that one than the cvo <laughs> yeah that was pretty pretty good it's 130 something horsepower oh, it, damn. it goes real good for a bagger like for a heavy bike it fucking hauls ass it picks the front wheel up oh my god yeah i was hoping you'd have shown that in the video your yeah, yeah. your friend just riding because he showed where it had ground down the exhaust tip yeah yeah i'm gonna get that on camera now i've bought a drone so we're gonna go out after work and i'll get him to wear my helmet so it looks like i'm doing it <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, get some good footage i'll just strap gopros all over it and yeah get him to 12 o'clock it he gets it right up there oh Damn. man that's so awesome <laughs> I don't have the nuts for I'm that. Not that good. I would shit myself when it yep. came off the ground that far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, question two, Ken, what's your uh, what's your favorite piece of riding gear? The, your the one piece of gear that you have to have. Uh, my 
Oh, well, I suppose a helmet because we'd have to wear helmets over here. But um, if if I didn't have to wear a helmet, I'd probably my boots, my Ariat boots, I always chuck them on. Ah, oh, some good old cowboy boots, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yep. I'll wear the cowboy boots. Okay, and question number three, Justin. Oh, I have to read this one? Yeah. He already answered this, though. No. No, he didn't. He said it was his absolute favorite spot to ride. I'm just saying. The, in Australia. In Australia. What's his favorite? Okay. Yeah. What is your favorite <laughs> riding spot? <laughs> if it if it wasn't in Australia and I haven't ridden it yet. Yeah. Will that do? I, I want to ride Route 66. Yes. I want to... We're, we're going to come over to the States in probably another two or three years, so I'm going to I'm gonna hook in over there. So, so I'll, t- I'll tell you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to burst your bubble a little bit. <laughs> Route 66 is, is boring as fuck. <laughs> I mean, fuck, it, was, really? it was just one of the highways to, you know, cross yeah, the U.S. But it's not, it's, it's not a technical riding destination such as, like, Tail the Dragon, but you get to see like old I mean, American a, yeah, history. It's, it's a historical route. Yeah. But it's not yeah. like exciting to ride. Yeah, but I don't I mean. Well, that's like most of Australia. It's fucking brown, dead grass and cows everywhere. There's not a lot of exciting stuff over here either, really. Well, I mean, yeah. you, you got to dodge fucking spiders and snakes and other shit that tries to kill you in Australia, so. <laughs> <And> the Aborigines. <laughs> Good point. Yep. <laughs> I've right. been hit by a kangaroo on my bike before, so yeah. That's Bullshit. True. Fuck off. Bullshit. Really? Yeah, no. Yep, no shit. And, um. <laughs> Those things are fucked, As long dude. as the police aren't watching this, I'd, I had had a few beers. I was coming back from my mate's house, and I kicked it in the face. <laughs> 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 he's he's feeding us full of shit now. He's like, yeah, I kicked that fucking kangaroo right in the head. <laughs> well, when I say kangaroo, it was a wallaby, so like it's a, a tinier, yeah. a tinier, like yeah. you know, midget kangaroo. I'm gonna embellish our Big Ben story yeah. to where I punted that fucking fat ass <laughs> raccoon. <laughs> 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 oh, I could have said then we pulled over and boxed on for a while, but yeah, no, that didn't happen. <laughs> those fucking, can- those fucking It'd be fucking believable. <laughs> so the male kangaroos are called bucks, and they're some mean motherfuckers when they're all oh like, yeah jacked up. And Dude, they look fuck. like they're on fucking creatine, yeah. man. Like, <laughs> yeah. and they will beat the shit out of you. Too. Yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah, they will. <laughs> you know, yeah. that guy goes over and just fucking slaps the one that was trying to fuck with his dog. Yeah, and he just kind of sits yeah. there like <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we when you go chasing pigs and there's big roos around it near dams, the the kangaroos will actually grab a hold of the dog and take him into the dam and drown him. What the what fuck? fuck? No shit, no shit. They're fucking assholes. God damn. Jeez. Mm. So and can, if they do grab you, that's when they lean on their tail and they'll kick the fuck out of you. Yeah. Well, they got fucking big ass claws too. Claws too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They'll rip you up. Fucking hell. Can you kill them? Uh, not legally. Ah, oh, damn. Only legal, legal if you get caught. Because I mean, but, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. Die. I'm gonna have to come they to Australia die. and me and you will go pig hunting. No, oh, that, that yeah, absolutely. Happen. That'd be so yep, fun. That'll be a fat time. Oh man, drink beer and go fucking hunt pigs. Yeah. And then, yep. you know, just I'll be in. You're only country. allowed to drink. What was that? Foster. Foster's. Foster's. Yeah. No one in Australia First that ball. I know <laughs> drinks Foster. So I spent a week. I spent a week in Melbourne. Foster's. <laughs> so I, I spent a week in Australia in Melbourne when I was in the military, and one of our one of our goals was always to eat local food that you know not touristy shit, and drink a local beer, something that's only yep. made and sold where we were at. Yep. Well, of course, I was in Australia, so I mean, we were, doing that part was pretty easy. But then I was like, I want to drink a fucking Foster's while I'm in Australia, <laughs> and it was fucking impossible, yeah. impossible yeah. to find a place that sold Foster's. And I yeah, mean, no one drinks it over here. Yeah, man. is it still brewed in Australia? It's um, actually brewed in the USA. <laughs> I that doesn't surprise me. That They're gonna have someone like me do the commercials there. now, which is like and the worst Australian accent. Brewed in USA. Wow, I'm gonna Jeez. look it up. I'm pretty amazing. sure they probably still do brew it over here, but I don't remember the last time I saw a can of it. <laughs> um, it's like Red Stripe, like over in Jamaica. That's the only ones you can Queensland find. Queensland has the best beer by far. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 so. Oh, hold on. Ken found something. Foster's Lager. All right. Billed as a uniquely Australian beer by corporate parent uh, S. A. B. Miller. Foster's has been brewed in Texas for years. <laughs> <laughs> so 
<laughs> Sorry there, bud. Hey, fucking guy. <laughs> so Damn. it's probably wow. being brewed in Houston then. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Houston or Dallas. Um, wow. That is hilarious. <laughs> so I'll need to send some over to you. I'll send you some Queensland beer. All right. Oh, yeah. We could so we could fucking maybe send him some uh Oh, so let's send them all the Ziegenbach. Mexican shit. Some Ziegenbach. <laughs> Ziegenbach's only mo- made and sold here in Texas. No, you can buy Ziegenbach anywhere. We, they must Shinerbach is the one that's was yeah. primarily Texas, but now you can get Shinerbach anywhere. I don't I've know. They that. must have changed that recently. You can send them some fucking Chamoy and yeah. some, fucking Mexican <laughs> some Lucas. <candy>. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great to just do like a candy exchange. You know, I say you're fucking talking about beer. I'm like, let's have candy. Let's have candy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm such a fat fuck. <laughs> um, so we want to thank you for coming on the show and and kind of giving us a little bit more detail about who you are and hopefully some stuff that maybe your fans don't know about. Um, I know from watching your videos, you have a lot of uh, really cool sponsors. Is there anyone you want to give a shout out to? Ah, uh, the the big. Oh, I only really have two. Um, one is Reckless Industries. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a, a local company from up up in Cairns. Uh, he's been working with me recently. And he chucked in a heap of stuff in my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. And Sun City Harley, um, they're amazing. They they let me ride whatever I want. They yeah, they help me out with everything and. They've got a well. They don't know about it yet, but I've just bought a nitrous kit full of the uh, for the oh, diner, so they're shit. gonna have to help me tune that. So. Oh man! <laughs> Next video. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be I blew up my Harley. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I got pulled yeah, over so on my Harley. <laughs> keep an eye out for that video. That's yeah. gonna be pretty cool. So, would you say that being sponsored by a Harley shop helps you out a lot? Well, they don't really sponsor me. Like, I don't get any money or anything out of it. But um, it helps because I wouldn't be able to do the test rides without it. And, well, I think test ride videos get a shit ton of views, like Justin would know. But, um, yeah, that helps the channel big time. So, And it I help promote them, you know. So I'm always tagging them in shit on Instagram and showing the shop in the videos. So. Mm-hmm. And they let me ride the jet skis too, so and they've nice. got um, well, can am buggies and quads, and mm-hmm. I pretty much get whatever I want whenever oh, I want. So man, that'd be dope. It's a, a non non money sponsor, I suppose you'd call it. How many Harley dealers are in your general area? Uh, one. Oh, oh, our there, camera. There goes our one. video. There goes our video. Someone didn't format the card. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've only got the one Harley dealer here, mate. There's uh, 400 kilometers either way is the Jeez. next one. Yeah, that's a Damn. big help. That's that's the one reason why I have a hard time getting anything from my dealers because there's so much competition. Well, fuck, we've got yeah. like four dealerships within like 45 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, there's four yeah. dealerships no. in San Antonio. Yeah. yeah. And then there's, oh, a, there's no, two more less than an hour and a half away. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're at least four hours away. Either wow. either way, north or south of me. There's God. nothing west. <laughs> Fuck. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, here in Texas, if we have to drive four hours to get somewhere, that is just part of a day trip. Is It's pretty similar there in Australia too, isn't it? Yeah, yep. Yeah, it's nothing. Like, my truck in a day will do... It'll go Cairns and back or Mackay and back. So that's probably 900 Ks every day it does. Damn. Yeah. Whatever that is in miles, I'm not too sure. But Hold on, I'm, I'm getting it's it. It's about 600 miles. Yeah, it's six. Yeah. six or it's point six. so 1. 900 6. kilometers. Yeah. It's uh, 559 so, miles. So, yeah, it's, yeah, it's nothing to Houston know, do and back. that sort of kilometers every day. Damn. Hmm. Damn, putting the longest ride on. I've done was from Emerald when I picked the bike up back to Townsville, which is 820 kilometers or something like that. That was fucked. 500 on miles. Stock suspension, standard seat. It was fucking terrible. Oh yeah, oh, that'd be. Oh god. 
Five hundred miles on a stock yeah. setup. Oof, kill me now. Stock seat. That's stock that's non-touring terrible. setup. Yeah, I could do that on a, on a yeah. touring bike. It was terrible. <laughs> oh yeah, on a on a tour, that'd be fun. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, a stock Dyna that's setup. Stock. Fuck that. I remember <laughs> when I got my street bob. Like forty miles was like, you know, that was it. That was my limit because <laughs> the stock setup <laughs> sucks that bad. Yeah. Well. That- put the that legend air ride suspension on it like pretty much straight away i was i was cured after that ride shout out legends yeah (laughs) all right well james again thank you for coming on the show we do appreciate it uh i know it can be tough being kind of on an island all by yourself there in australia but uh (laughs) I mean, if you want to call it a fucking island. I mean, that's where they put all the worst people in the world, you know. Well, back in like the, yeah. what, 1600s? I mean, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Apple didn't far very far from the tree. 